Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to get ready with you. Um, tonight I'm seeing Kendrick Lamar and I'm so excited. I got Tim tickets for Christmas and we've been so excited and the day is finally here. So I thought I would just show you how I've been getting ready recently. My makeup has been a little bit different recently from what I, what I normally do. I've been doing kind of like smudgy, like smoky bedroom eyes and then like a nude lip rather than like an orangey red smoky eye. It's been like more dark colors, a bit more bronzy. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just get ready and show you like how I kind of tan myself up and all of the like pre-based skincare that I've been using recently. Let's get ready. Okay, for me, my base is 100% the most important part of this routine, that being my body and everything. So, first thing I'm actually going to do is use the Saint Tropez Instant Healthy Glow Gradual Tan Tinted Moisturiser. I fake tanned a few days ago, but I feel like it's fading a little bit. So, I'm just going to take some of this and actually apply it to my bod. I'm wearing jeans and stuff, so I only really need to worry about like my neck and um, decolletage, just to give myself like a little extra hint of colour because I like to shine up my body a lot. It kind of works as like a tacky primer for all my highlights and stuff. I also find that it kind of evens out my um, skin tone a little bit as well. It will go red, but then it will calm down. I'm gonna make sure the sisters are looking good, the twins. I'm just gonna let that sink in. And this won't transfer onto my clothes or anything like that. I now have like four skincare products I wanna go in with before I even put primer on. So the first thing is, oh my God, I've nearly run out of this. My two favorite products are nearly empty. This is devastating. <laughs> the first thing is The Ordinary Ascorbyl te Tetrisopalpamate Mitate Solution. 20% vitamin F. This stuff's great for just giving yourself Ow. Ooh, ow, for giving yourself a glow. It's super thin and I just press this over my skin just to start the process of glowing. If you're someone who has super oily skin who uh, hates dewy skin, then this video ain't for you, babes. Step one, initiated. On to step two. You guys know one of my favorite products to ever be created. The Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. This stuff is incredible. So I take five drops and I rub it between my palms again. And again, you just press it in. This is amazing. If you've got a drier skin and you want to achieve that dewy, luminous glow that people with oily skin get, I mean basically oil breakthrough, shine breakthrough. If you put this on before any foundation, it just helps to kind of brighten them up, let them move a little bit better, because I often find that trying to apply foundation, sometimes it drags because my skin's so dry. So putting this down kind of lubes up your face and gives it a little bit more slip, and it smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. We are gonna mix two products together. These are two of my holy grails. You have seen this me, seen this me? You've seen me talk about this a million times. This is the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash. This is the darkest shade. This is incredible. If you fake tan your body and you don't tend to fake tan your face and to add some glow back to your skin, I mix this with my foundation. I put it on before my foundation. I just, this makes your skin look incredible. As does this, which is pretty new to me. This is the Neod Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. This stuff is amazing. It just makes your skin look radiant. It kind of looks just like a liquid highlighter almost. It looks just like an illuminating primer, but this makes your skin look flawless, especially in photos. So what I tend to do is take kind of a couple pumps of the Neod. The only thing I will say about this is it's quite messy. The packaging is not the best. And then I take a pump of my By Terry and then I just mix it together. And these together are just miracles happen. And I just like to apply this. There's no coverage or anything like that, but it does just make your complexion look even. Even and luminous, which we know is what I'm here for. I love to glow. I hope you can see this. 
And even this, it's kind of helped to match my skin slightly more to my neck. Because this is a realistic get ready with me, I'm allowed to be extra because that's what I do. Um, but if you're gonna like copy this, you don't have to use three foundations, but I'm gonna mix together three foundations and I'll tell you for why. The kind of main foundation I'm gonna be using is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is kind of the, the main attraction in what I'm wearing. However, I want a little bit more longevity. Um, this does la last a really long time, but because I'm wearing so many oils and stuff, I need something to kind of really hold on. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm gonna mix in half a pump of the Urban Decay All Nighter. This also is a really good shade for me when I'm fake tan, so this just warms it up a little bit. And then finally, I am going to mix in a little bit of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation to give it a bit more of the glow back because this is very matte. This is pretty luminous, but this is very luminous and these three together makes my perfect shade and also my perfect finish. That's just me being completely unnecessary, like I could just wear this on its own, but seeing as I want to, I'm gonna mix the three together, but you don't have to. I love to make little cocktails, because why, if you can, why not make your perfect foundation by mixing them together? I should do the mixing all my foundations challenge together. I have like a hundred foundations, that would be ridiculous. But if you wanna see that, then by all means, let me know. I've mixed those shades together. And we've also got to remember that the Urban Decay All Nighter oxidizes, so it might look a little bit light now, but um, once the Urban Decay is oxidized, it should match me really well. I like to take small bits and build them up, applying it bit by bit. This finish is absolutely stunning and it's a really lovely amount of coverage. While everything's still quite fresh and dewy, I'm gonna go in with my concealer because I don't want it to set um, too badly and I'm not going crazy on the eyes. So I'm gonna take the shade medium and this I'm gonna apply over any imperfections I have on my skin. If I've got any blemishes, redness, you know the drill. And anywhere I just want a little bit more coverage. Medium is such a good shade for me when I'm tan. And I'm just gonna blend that in. And then under my eyes, I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. Start brightening up under there. Just the kind of front panels of my face. And again, blend that in. You'll notice I spend so much more time on my skin. Um, and then when it's on my eyes, I kind of just throw it on because I kind of like the messy look. Um, but my skin, I like to look beautiful. And then finally, I go in, I know I use a lot of concealer, I go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly, which is a really light color. So I just apply this right in the front, like, planes of my face. And I pull this quite close to the sides of my nose because I like to contour my nose. And then I take a really fine line and I draw it right down my nose and a little dot on the end. I find that bit really tense because if you mess up the line, you can give yourself a wonky nose. <laughs> I also pull a little bit of this in the center of my forehead, but not a lot. But you want to put a bit there just so that it doesn't look weirdly tan and you can see I'm starting to match up a little bit better as it oxidizes. Oxidization doesn't always have to be a terrible thing as long as you know which foundations oxidize and you can kind of monitor it and change things accordingly you know and then bring it up the sides of the nose the lighter colour that is because it helps the nose contour just look a little bit more natural and then for the nose contour you want to squeeze your beauty blender Than and now I set. I don't use a lot of powder anymore. I used to use quite a lot, but now I just use it where I need it. And at the moment, I am using my RCMA No Color Powder because it doesn't flash back in pictures and it also is completely translucent. Um, it doesn't change or go darker when you put it on top of your concealer because you've put concealer under your eyes in a lighter shade for a reason so you don't want your setting powder to change that. And I use a brush, I don't bake anymore, and I only really set where I need it. Next, I do my brows. Um, I have uploaded a whole brow routine. Oh, I threw my spoolie. There is a brow routine up. There's a brow routine up on my channel, so I'm not gonna show you guys that now, because brows are kind of boring when you watch them all the time. Um, 
so I'm just gonna do my brows and then I'll be right back. Brows are on. I haven't set them yet. I haven't done that brow gel because I haven't finished everything else. So I do that like after I've done most of my eyes. Something very important to me is my nose contour. So my favorite thing to contour my nose with is my Hoola and I use a Spectrum AO6 brush to do this. It's such a good brush for it, but I'm just gonna quickly take off any excess off of the brush. Oh my God, I made myself a tea and I've left it downstairs. I contour my nose to kind of slim it down. Everyone contours their nose for different reasons, to do different things. Um, I like to make mine quite defined. I just find it's more flattering on me. So I do kind of like a, a harsh line and then I just buff it out. And I like to bring it all the way up here. This is another reason I haven't done my brow gel yet. I like to bring it under the nose to make it a little bit more like a button. I do it harsh and then I kind of blend it out after, so. This just makes so much difference, especially in photos. When I was younger, I used to want a nose job. Now I don't. Because why, do why would you need a nose job when you can just contour? And then what I tend to do is I take a little bit of my MAC Studio Fix powder and I just press on top of that. And this, A, sets my nose. B, adds a bit of coverage. So my nose, because my nose always starts to fade throughout the day. And see, it just makes the contour look a little bit more natural. I'm now gonna bronze up a little bit. I actually have been loving this brush. I've never been one for an angled brush for bronzer, but I've been really liking it. It's the Spectrum AO5 brush. And I have been using my MAC Gimme Sun. And I haven't set my cheeks yet. Um, I don't find that this bronzer goes patchy. And I find that I actually quite like applying it before I've set my foundation because it just melts in. You can really like work this bronzer into your foundation. I've really been going a bit crazy with my contour recently. I went through a phase where I got over it and I was like, oh, I can't be bothered with all the contour. And I was just more about the highlight. But I've got back into really bronzy skin. But you just want to make sure there's no harsh lines. And I've also been like heavily contouring and bronzing my forehead. I think it just looks nice in photos. And then I go in with my Hoola again and the same brush. This is more under the cheekbone. I bring this down quite far as well. And then my secret weapon contour that jawline. I'll come back to the skin. I'm definitely not finished but i'm gonna move on to the eyes so i've recently been obsessed with my jaclyn hill morphe palette i don't tend to use it much because it's so big i don't travel with it but when i'm at home i love it so i am gonna start with this transition shade here and my favorite eyeshadow brushes are the zoeva brushes so i like the 221 228 and the 234 they're my faves i'm gonna take that light peachy shade on a 221, really blow that out. The quality of these eyeshadows are really high, it's great. And no matter what eyeshadow look I'm doing, I always like to bring my transition shade right up here because it blends down into the nose contour. And again, just helps it look a little bit more natural. Next, I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of mix these three shades together. I don't want it to be too red, but I don't want it to be too orange. Um, and these three shades mixed together just brings the right kind of tone. And again, this, we're not going mad. We want it to be soft and blended. This is what I call like bedroom eyes, like sexy bedroom eyes. It looks messy, um, but it doesn't look messy in like a, I don't know how to do my makeup way. It looks messy like, oh, I just threw this on kind of way, which is kind of what you're doing. I literally just whack you know, mix loads of colours together. It's not got loads of, there's no like cut crease or anything like that. This, oh, I just threw it on. I'll throw it off. I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker brown, just a tiny bit, only a little bit. And I'm just starting to apply this on the outer third and blending that into the crease. See, it's not super warm. It's not super cool. It's quite like a nice neutral brown smoky eye. It's got, it's more on the warm side, but not like my usual. I'm gonna take this little brush from Real Techniques. I'm actually gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna do like a super smoky wing. So you just wanna push this into the lash line. When I'm doing like sexy kind of evening makeup, I like to make my eyes look more oval, which is a really kind of sexy eye shape, I think, in my opinion. But if you just do a soft 
little cat eye. It just helps to make that feline shape. We're not doing anything harsh because we don't want it to look like we're trying. This is the kind of look where you want your partner to be like, oh, have you done something different? And for you to be like, me? No. When obviously you have and you've slaved away at your makeup. You want to try, but you don't want them to know you've tried. And I'm actually just taking a little bit of that crease colour and working it over the edges. Now, I'm not sure if I want to do falsies yet. I probably won't just because I have quite long lashes and I feel like the second you put falsies on, it makes it a little bit more glam. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm excited to see Tim. I saw him quite recently, really, but I still am allowed to miss him. You kind of get what I'm doing? I'm just applying, blending, applying, blending, applying, blending until I get like a super blown out wing. I'm gonna take a little brush and take like a little bit more of a dense amount right on the outer corner. I did this look the other day and this for me is like the perfect kind of day to night look. It's glam and sexy enough for it to work in the evening but it's also kind of you can get away with it in the day as well. So the other day as you will have seen in my weekly vlog I went for a birthday lunch and then I went to an event and then I went to dinner and then I went out and I literally all I did was put a little bit more mascara on and top up my lipstick in between all of those things and it was this look and it just worked. I'm just going to keep doing this, catch up this eye and then I'll be right back. I put like a shimmery bronze shade on my lid, something kind of messy, like a mixture of these three together and I literally just took them on my finger and I just pushed it on the first half of my lid. You don't want it to be like crazy dark or anything like that. And we are gonna go back in with the smoky black, but this just adds a little bit of dimension to the lid. Makes it a little bit bronzy, shimmery, you know. And then, you know it, we're going back in with the black and blending that in. On the waterline, I'm taking this by Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade Bronze Moon, which is kind of like a, it's like a neutral bronze. It's a really weird color, but it's really perfect. Oh my God, I just think it's a really sexy color. It's like a little bit bronzy, but quite smoky and quite glossy, which again is perfect for this look. And it just catches the light and makes your eyes sparkle. I'm taking the deeper brown. continuing the line on the outer corner. I'm gonna go in with my um, Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm gonna take the brush I used to set and the banana shade. And I just use this under the eye to kind of clear up any excess fall down. And I also use it to highlight my nose a little bit more. Next, I am going to apply some Scandinavia just to set down those powders. My battery's about to die. I'm just gonna let this sit. I might listen to some Kendrick and then I'll be back when my camera's charged to finish my face. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, uh, in the time where I was just charging my camera, I've obviously put some mascara on. Finally, I'm gonna set my brows. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow. Just brings back a bit of the fluffiness to them and also um, a bit of the depth because I put you know powders and setting sprays and stuff and um, it, they easily get lost. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, my towel is literally falling off. I'm gonna use a little bit of the bronzer in this um, Becca Apre Ski Glow Palette. This look is all about bronzer, contour, and a lot of highlight. For my blush, I'm gonna use my fave, my Milani Luminoso blush. Just cause we need to bring some color back. I'm gonna take my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight on like a little flat brush and you want to pop that right on the brow bone. This looks amazing in pictures. For my inner corner I'm going into my Coloured Rain palette because this is the best inner corner highlight ever and I'm going in with Crown. It's like a white that reflexes gold and then I'm going on top with Gilded Honey to warm it up a little bit. On to highlights. So I'm gonna go in with Becca's Opal. As like a base, I'm gonna take Gilded Honey, dampen it, and this is going right on the top of my cheekbone. 
highlight is insane. And then I'm taking it dry and I'm gonna go a bit on my forehead, taking my pinky. We're glowing. Okay, on to the lips. I'm gonna use Morphe Bite Me, which is like my favorite lip liner at the moment. It's like a brown, but it's perfect for nudes. And then for lipstick, I have been loving Honey Love from MAC. I'm gonna add a little bit of Ofra Nude Potion. Oh, it smells so good. Right, I just got changed. I'm wearing this little number. I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight on my decolletage. I think Tim's here, so now I'm under a time pressure. I'm taking my highlight and I'm just putting it on my collarbones, even though they're mostly covered. Hello. Hey. We have Sorry. a Tim. I'm here. No, I'm literally, I'm highlighting my collarbones. I'm on the final step. <laughs> you look nice. Thanks. Should I wear my black jeans? <laughs> and I am ready to go. That is the finished look. I'm gonna go now because I'm running late and Tim's waiting for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.